Hi, I'm Nick Smith, and this is The Takeaway. This is The Takeaway, recorded April 17th. This is Boxed In, Session 3. Have you ever had to move before? You gotta pack everything that you own into a box. It can be frustrating when you try to unpack the box. You know, one of the things that, that happens with the box is we use it to constrict, we use it to confine, we use it to keep things tight. But eventually, we gotta open the box up. One of the things that, that we struggle with is hardships. We go through difficult circumstances. It could be debt, it could be a loss of a job, it could be a death of a loved one, it could be marital problems, it could be so many different things. Hardships come in many shapes and sizes and they can trap us, they can box us in. Today we're going to talk about how do we take the box off in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 through 9. How do we take the box off? The first thing is we've got to rejoice. What does this mean? Stop complaining. Stop using Facebook as your personal dialogue on your life and, and how you complain about every situation. No, find your joy in the Lord. The second thing is, is that we need to stop worrying. We worry about so many things. We worry about the weather, how fat we are, how skinny we are, the, whatever's happening in our life, we worry about it. Don't fall into the worry trap. The worry trap is when you try to do too much, you're thinking about too much, you're thinking about tomorrow, the next day, the year ahead, you get overwhelmed. Stop worrying and start praying. Trust in God. Trust that He is sovereign, that He's going to take control, that He is, is trustworthy in all circumstances. The third thing that we need to do is have God's peace. When God gives us peace, it transcends our understanding. I've seen people who've had peace in the most horrible circumstances. They were dying or they had cancer. And when people around them are like, I don't know how you're facing that, they're like, God is giving me peace. The fourth thing is, is that we need to have positive input. The stuff that you put into your mind and your body and your heart, it's important. So why would we put junk in? The television, the music, the stuff that we watch, the friends that we keep, put things that are gonna uplift you. Let's read the word, let's pray, let's be in the scripture, let's, let's, let's just, just trust God for what he is and who he is. Put the positive things in you. The fifth thing is that we need to act on it. We need to take a step of faith. So many times people will lose a job or something like that and, and they just when they want to sulk. But wait a second. If you believe God is sovereign, He's got a plan and that He's going to take care of you, then take a step of faith. Fill out an application, do your resumes, go to interviews, and trust that God is going to take care of you. In Romans chapter 5, verses 3 to 5, it says to have patience. That's the sixth thing, to have patience, that God has perfect timing. I know if you're like me, you want to have it your way right now. We live in a microwave culture, but I'm telling you that God has perfect timing, that He's never late, He's never early, He's always right on time. The seventh thing is, is that we need to have hope. What does that mean? That means we trust God, that we have confidence in who God is, that we are expecting those good things to come. So friends, this is how we get out of the box of hardship and trust God that He's always going to take care of you. God bless.